Good morning, everybody. This is Sherry from Sun Energy, California. Hope you're all well. Today, I'm here just to do a little session with you about net energy metering and staying on the grid while going solar. So when you go solar, most utility companies in the state of California offer you what's called a net energy metering program to join. And what that means to you is saving money. So staying on the grid with Edison is really, really important. You want to be on the grids with Edison or your utility companies throughout California because they will offer you a buyback program for any electricity that your system creates that you don't use up in an annual period. So in a year's period, you will sell that back to your utility and they will actually pay you cold hard cash for that. So the way it actually works is you join their net energy metering programs and every single month that your solar system's up on your roof creating all the electricity for you, if in any of those particular months you don't use up all the electricity that your solar system generated for you, it will flow back to the grid and they will start to build your credit bank for you. And throughout the year, your credit bank will build and once a year they'll do a settlement bill for you. And if you particularly have credits there, you're gonna get money back. If you didn't have any credits there, you would owe to them. Now, you're always going to pay your utility company your service fee. There's no getting around that. Whether you're a solar customer or not, you already have a service fee in your bill. But the best thing about going solar is the opportunity to sell that unused energy that your system produced for you back to your utility and maybe earn a little back each year. You never will be without power in your house as well by joining their net energy metering programs because if you were to overuse, you automatically will pull back from their grid. So that's another benefit by going solar but staying on the grid and joining um, net energy metering programs. You'll always have the backup that you'll never, ever, ever be without power in this state. So there's lots of benefits to it. So I call Edison, I have solar in my home and every single year I sell back to Edison roughly about three and a half thousand kilowatts. And there's, I'm gonna show you my bill so that you can see how it looks. When you look at my grid on my Edison bill, you will see that most months, probably about seven, eight months out of the year, we are below our line on our grid, which means my um, solar is up on our roof, creating all the energy we can use, but uh, more than we can actually use. So that's all flown back to Edison. And then three months out of the year, which are my summer months because we're big air conditioning users in our house, I will claw back some of that energy that I stored with Edison and still be able to get a return for my money at the end of the year. My net energy metering at the end of the year is absolutely phenomenal for me. We've had solar for four years now and every single year I've managed to get money back from Edison. So the savings that I gained from having solar has been absolutely a massive benefit to myself and my family and my home. So staying on the grid does offer you more pros than cons. So I hope this was helpful to you as to the reason why going solar is more beneficial for homeowners than not going solar.